Displacement is another quantity in physics that we will have to understand and apply uh, and apply in the future. The concept of displacement is refers to the change in your position. So when your position changes, you could be displaced. Uh, the symbol that we use to represent change is the Greek letter delta. It looks like a triangle. So a change in x or a delta x means the change in your x location or the change in your position. Again, we have a frame of reference that we use to keep track of our location in space. Just to restate, this is the x-axis. So this is the origin, 0, and these are the y-axis. So if I start here on the origin and go up, I have a positive y displacement. If I go down, I have a displacement in the, that's negative in the y-axis. If I go this direction, I have a positive x displacement. Going back to the origin, if I go this way, I have a negative y displacement. I could start anywhere. If I'm moving in this direction, I have a negative x displacement. If I start here and go up, I have a positive y displacement. It's simply in which direction I'm moving. I'm more moving toward the positive or toward the negative. The displacement, again, describes how far you are from where you started, regardless of how you got there. And what that means is independent of the path that you follow. In this example, we're going to have a trip that has multiple legs. For instance, if you drive 60 miles from Pennsylvania to New Jersey, if you look at a map when you drive from Pennsylvania to New Jersey, you'd be driving toward the east. You would start off at your starting location, the origin. And we move to the east, which in this case is the positive x-axis. After driving 60 miles, we'd be at that location. This trip has another leg, or another segment. In the second segment, you would start to drive back toward Pennsylvania, so you'd be driving to the west. And if you drive back 20 miles, you wouldn't get back to your starting point, because remember you drove 60 east and then 20 to the west, you'd end up at that location, your final location. Is there a change in position from your starting location to your final location? Yeah, the answer is yes. And that change in location can be described using this purple arrow, and that displacement is toward the east. And if we keep track, you would move 1, 2, 3, four ticks, each tick is 10 miles, 40 miles to the east. To calculate the displacement, you take the final location minus the initial location, and it will give you the displacement. Let's show the computation for this. And I'll write on the board here, my starting location was zero miles. My final location was 40 miles miles. So I have x naught, that's my starting location, that subscript means the initial condition, xf is my final condition. If we apply this, my displacement is equal to my final location, the 40 mile mark, minus 0, the initial mile mark. 40 minus 0 is positive 40 miles. My displacement is indeed 40 miles. Distance and displacement are similar in that they're both measured in meters, but they're different in that distance can only be positive values, magnitudes, because it's impossible to have a negative distance. Imagine trying to measure a negative length with a meter stick. You're not going to get very far. It just seems very unusual. Displacement is not only how far, but it's in which direction. If we look at this slide, displacement can be positive or negative because you end up to the right or the left of where you started. As we stated previously, if you start off at one location and then end up in another location to the right, your displacement is positive. If you start off with an initial position here and then you move to the left, your displacement is negative. So displacement, again, is how far you move and in which direction. It can be positive or negative. 
Displacement can occur in the x-axis. It could also occur in the y-axis. At this point, the course will define several now, we'll quantities: stick with the uh, time, distance, displacement, and speed. Uh, and uh, some of these uh, have a, a direction that's indicated with a sign. And what we're going to do is to define what a vector is and what a scalar is. A scalar is a quantity that only has a magnitude, how large, a numeric value, but does not have a sign. A vector has both a magnitude and a direction, and usually we use a sign, positive or negative, at this point to indicate their direction. So let's do time. Does time have a direction? Would we say positive or, can we have negative time that in our dreams? Time is a scalar, so we'll mark that. Distance is how far, but it doesn't indicate which direction. As we stated with the meter stick, you can't have a negative distance, so that is a scalar. Displacement, as we defined, is how far and in which direction. Displacement can be positive or negative, so that is a vector. And then finally, speed is distance divided by time. Distance is a scalar, time is a scalar, speed is simply how fast. It does not indicate which direction, so it's not a vector, it is a scalar. Uh, for beginning learners, measure, memorizing which are vectors and which are scalars are, uh, are important, and uh, you can refer to this data table from time to time.